Hello everybody and welcome to Read with Principal Lindner. Today we're going to do the story Snap. Here we go. I hope you enjoy it. Evan had a brand new set of crayons. Perfect in every way until Snap. He tried ordering the crayon back together. He tried pressing the brown crayon back together. He tried taping the brown crayon back together. Nothing worked. Finally, he held it out and stared at it hard. As if by magic, something changed. One broken crayon became two crayons. Evan drew ocean waves, tiger stripes, and fireworks. Other crayons broke, becoming more doubles and even triples. Snap. A piece was crushed. Scritch. Evan made furry spots. And when pieces lost their wrappers, Evan found ways to scooch them sideways across the page. Sometimes, surprising things appeared beneath. Evan now had a mixed up, messy, one or more of every color set of crayons. He kept right on coloring and drawing until plip, plip, plunk, his only green crayon fell under the stair. He tried fishing it out. He tried coaxing it out. He tried breaking it out. Green was gone for good. Evan felt like throwing things, but instead he scribbled. Red, orange, yellow, no green, blue, purple, brown, black. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, pur- He stopped and stared. Once again, as if by magic, something had changed. Where yellow and blue crossed, there was green. Evan became so interested in mixing colors that he didn't actually see the black crayon disappear. And once he knew that red and yellow could be used as backup, he himself used all the orange. See who took the black crayon there? And purple monsters were so perfectly putrid with red and blue mixed in that he just kept working without noticing an unusual visitor. Whoosh! A sudden gust of wind came next. Evan sprawled across the paper to protect things. But the last of the brown and purple were swept away. Evan now had a very small set of crayons. Red, yellow, blue. They were the exact three colors that could still make an entire rainbow. But when it was finished, the pieces were very, very tiny. This time, a truly special change would be needed. He waited and watched and hoped. And yet, even while he hoped, Evan knew it wasn't really about magic. He 
He looked at the pieces in every way he could think of, sideways, backwards, and finally standing on his head. Suddenly his thoughts flipped upside down. Which is when Evan, all on his own, turned an ending into a beginning. And more discoveries were soon to follow. Hope you enjoyed that story this morning. Evan turned a bad situation into a good situation using his imagination and using his problem solving skills. I hope that you can do the same. If you like that story, go ahead and click subscribe down below this video and click the like button. We'll see you next week. Have a good one.